Good morning, guys. So, today it's been kind of a rough one. It's 4 o'clock, first of all. Um, <clears throat> basically, haven't been able to eat all day. Pretty much all I've had is a quarter of a donut. That's it. Um, so, because of that, I'm feeling really weak, but I also, if I eat, I feel like I'm going to throw up. And then... Tomorrow's my last full day of these antibiotics. And can I just say, hallelujah to that one. Um, but... We did go out to Dunkin' Donuts since the donut, and I got some iced coffee because I can't, I'm weird, apparently I've been told, because apparently when people usually are nauseous and stuff, they want hot stuff, but I can't. I cannot tolerate any hot drinks. I can tolerate like soup and stuff, but not like hot coffee or hot chocolate or anything like that, I can't. So I haven't had coffee in like four days, and so I got some iced coffee, and uh, at least I can have that now because <laughs> really I haven't had any caffeine in four days either which is kind of a good thing knowing that I didn't have any side effects from not having coffee for that long but I wanted my coffee it's my comfort so um but I do want to tell you guys about something pretty amazing to me that happened this morning um some people didn't think it was so amazing but so I went to go take Panda outside for his morning business and um I saw this black long object on the ground and I was like that's a really weird looking twig like I thought it was just a twig so I looked closer I was like what is this and um it was a snake and my first order of business was making sure Panda didn't get near it and my second order of business was I wanted to show my dad the snake so <coughs> I was like come here come here there's a snake <coughs> now I love snakes personally as long as they're not venomous <coughs> um so I was fascinated by this um, but unfortunately I was going to get a video of it. I didn't want to pull my camera out or my phone out while I had Panda with me because I didn't want him getting near the snake, but unfortunately by the time I came back down the snake was gone. But I will show you guys a picture I found on, uh, just on Google because I'm pretty sure it was a black racer, um, in, which are non-venomous. Um, in Arkansas we used to get king snakes all the time. And, um, come here buddy. We used to, come here Panda. Good boy, sit. Good boy. Um, we used to get king snakes all the time. In fact, we, we had one that was like humongous all the way in our windowsill one time. But I haven't personally seen a snake except for in a zoo since I moved to Florida. So I was kind of excited. It was just, a, it was a cute little thing. I mean, its head was like yay big and it was maybe a foot long, if that. It may not have even been that long. Um, it was just this really cute little black snake. And I, I, I hate that I couldn't get a video of it for you guys, um, you know, in person, but I'll show you what it looks like from, it's called the Southern Black Racer. That's what I'm thinking it is because they're, they're common to Florida um, and they're active during the day and it pretty much looks like what the snake looked like. So I think that's what it is. <clears throat> um, so let's see. Get a good picture here for you guys. Hang on one second. Okay, so the snake I saw was a lot smaller than this one. This is a big one, but it, it kind of looks like, well, it's gonna focus for me. Come on, there we go. So it kind of looked like that, except it was a lot smaller. So it was cute though. It was a really cute little snake. Um, I was telling my, <coughs> my best friend I was like I saw a snake it was so cute and he's like I don't like snakes but I do um I've always I probably would never get one but I've always had this dream of having a pet snake um no so <laughs> my dad said no um but I, I couldn't have a snake simply because of the way I'd have to feed it that's why I couldn't have one but um <clears throat> yeah so that was my excitement for the day um it was just it was pretty cool. Hopefully I'll see one again. Um, they are common in residential areas of Florida during daylight hours, so makes sense. Um, my sister apparently saw them a couple of times, but yeah, so pretty much just been a, a pretty chill day besides the little snake thing. Um, I'm not sure I'm going to be doing a whole lot today. <clears throat> just basically, basically hanging around the house and Waiting yeah. until Saturday because um, I just terrified loving daylights out of the cat. <laughs> He's all <laughs> everywhere. Ninja. <laughs> Ninja. 
<coughs> you scared the kitty cat, didn't he? Um, so anyway, yeah, just hanging around the house and waiting until Saturday. But. A high-speedy 300. <laughs> kitty. <laughs> yeah, she probably thought it was a dog doing that. It's okay. I I'll see you guys kitty. in a bit. Hey guys, so, um, it is 5.14 in the afternoon, and besides the quarter of a donut, I've eaten nothing today. So I'm going to try, you wouldn't think fast food would be a good idea, but I got two baked potatoes from Wendy's, and... That's just what sounded good. That sounded palatable and didn't make me feel nauseous. So that's kind of what I'm going with right now. Like a couple days ago, chicken sounded okay. Yesterday, rice and vegetables sounded good. Today, a baked potato sounds good. So I'm just going with whatever my body says. Okay, I could probably eat this. Um, obviously, if we had potatoes at home, I probably would have done that because it'd be a little gentler. But uh, hopefully this will go over pretty well. And... Um, We'll see. We'll see what happens, but I need to eat. I mean, regardless of whether I want to puke it back up or not, I need to eat. So, this sounded good, so we're going to see. Hey guys, I'm going to go ahead and say goodnight. I managed to eat. I can't say it went over very well, but I managed to eat. I'm about to watch the Tampa Bay Lightning game. Um, they're on a roll right now, but I am just waiting for Saturday. I just, every day I just have to tell myself, hold on until Saturday because every day this has just been getting consecutively worse and it's just at a point where it's like, I can't take it anymore, but tomorrow's my last full dose. Um, Saturday I just have a morning dose and then next week I'm starting Trichapta. So just gotta make it through a couple more doses and it should be done. Um, finally with these antibiotics so it's also why this is up late I wasn't even sure I was gonna watch the game even though I've been watching a lot of them just because I've been feeling very not good since I ate but hopefully um, that'll get better soon so thank you guys so much for coming along on my day today and I'll see you guys tomorrow good night